Welcome to the DNC Real Estate Show. I'm C. I'm D. Hey, and today our topic is why you should buy a home. So David, what do you think some of the reasons are for purchasing a home in our market here in Denver today? Well, first of all, you always have to have a place to live, correct? Yes, sir. That's always the important part. And if you, if you don't buy a home, you're paying for somebody else's home, correct? Right, yeah. So if you're renting, you're paying somebody else's note. So why should I pay somebody else's note when I can pay my own note, first of all? That makes sense. Another reason is stability. It's been shown over time that, you know, you can raise a family, you have stability in the home, usually uh, your kids grow up to be normal kids in the home. <laughs> the normal home, compared to what? Right. <laughs> when you're renting, you're not as stable, you know. You pass, first of all, you pass somebody else's market. Not only that, you, you know, every year or two years, depends on how long your lease is, you have to move or renew your lease. And when you do a renewal, what happens when, when you typically do a renewal? Boom, price goes up. Price <laughs> goes up. And that's the downfall of really renting. You know, you, first of all, you're paying somebody else's mortgage or note for a property they own and that you don't own. Sure. And and when you have your own place, you are more ready to take care of your own place because that's yours. Sure. You know, so the stability part, not not only that, it's an investment and it's has shown over time that a home can actually build wealth. Sure. That's one of the big things that we talk about all the time is generational wealth. Yes. Not just for yourself, but profit that you're gonna leave for your family behind upon your unfortunate demise. You know, we've talked about acquiring equity here in our metropolitan area at seven to 10% a year. And if that's something that you can acquire over time, you know, you can pay off credit card debt with that. Right. You can pay off automobile debt with that. Help people go to school. Help people go to college and school. Mm -hmm. One of the big things that people don't talk about is you can parlay off of that equity, add additional properties, add additional financial wealth to your bottom line just by being in that house over time. You know, if you take what you're gonna profit as a renter every month, well, that's gonna be zero. Right. But if you take what you're gonna profit as a homeowner every month or every year, right. that number is gonna to continue to build and at some point you're gonna be able to tap into that if you need it for additional finances. Right, now a home is not always you know, what we're saying is, is like glorified. It's not always positive. But in most instances, over time, like you said, the big thing is over time. Right. Because it's an know, investment. Yeah, because it's an investment. So when people buy it, if you buy it when everything was high and everything, you know, and then the market goes down, sure. then you find yourself in that five to 10 year period where the market just went down. But it has shown over time, as long as you plan on staying there. Right. Over time, it back, it starts to appreciate back, and you get your still get your investment back into the property itself. Plus, you have a home. You know that's that one of the most yeah. important points that you made earlier. And when the market did crash in two thousand eight and two thousand nine, that was one of the big things that I pointed out to my clients. Well, let's stop and take a look here. You got to live somewhere, right? Right. Absolutely. So you're going to pay rent, or you're going to pay more now. Absolutely. So in 2008 and 2009, I talked to homeowners that were 25 to 35 percent underwater, right. where the value of their house was worth much less than what they owed on the house. Right. Fast forward to today, those same people are 40 to 50 percent ahead of the game versus what they initially purchased that house that for. That's totally correct. It is a matter of staying in the home for a period of time so that you can improve that equity. And as shown over time, you know, owning a home versus investing in Wall Street, <laughs> stock market where you're stressed all the time and you can go down to zero. Land always have value. Sure. No matter land you're building, always has some value. Working with the stock market, you start losing that value. You might lose all your money. When people invest in real estate, it's very rare that you lose all your money as long as you, over time, stick with it. Sure. You know, and 
it's about legacy with me is you know when I die I want to give it you know my home to my kids so they have something or if, if but you can parlay that if you don't you want to live you want to move you want to move to a better neighborhood you usually have that equity in it over time that you're paying on that you can go get something that you want sure okay that makes sense all right why don't you give me your information? Well, you can always reach me. I'm Calvin Mallard with Fairway Independent Mortgage. And you can always reach me direct at 720-364-9726. You can apply online at loansbycalvin.com. You can Google me on Facebook at Loans by Calvin. Check me out on also YouTube. And uh, how about you, David? How can they get a hold of you? Okay, David Babineau, Caldwell Banker, Residential Brokers. Our phone number is 303-903-0395. You can find me on uh, my social media, uh, the, the Real Estate Man 24-7. You can give me YouTube, uh, Instagram, Facebook. Awesome. All right, everybody. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day. Everybody. Thank you.